This video will show you basic operation of the RISO SF5130. So a RISO duplicator is designed to be fast and inexpensive and it's been in operation in many of schools for over 30 years throughout the state as well as several churches, nonprofits, and some print shops. So for basic operation we're just going to make copies of this uh, Super eWords worksheet. So pretty straightforward, you walk up to the RISO and simply lay your original down on the glass that's your center point, but it also gives you nice little markers for eight and a half that are both at the top and the bottom. So once that is laid in, and before I close the lid, a good tip, make sure your paper orientation is the same on the glass as it is going into the machine. As you can see here, we have the short side going in first, so we have the short side on the lead edge here. Once I've got the paper in place, I just simply close the lid. The machine will switch over automatically to what's called master making mode. From there, I just simply press start. Now, what's going on with the RISO, and it'll give you a hint on the panel there, is it's actually ma making a master. So think about a master as your stencil, your, your main uh, copy, and once that master is made, that's what the machine uses in order to mass produce copies. Once that master is complete, you will get what's called a test print that comes out of the machine. Test print looks good, everything's good to go. Now I just simply come in and tell it I need however many copies, it could be 25, 50, 500, whatever it may be. Put in your total number of copies needed, then just simply press the start button. From there, you'll see the machine switch over to a printing mode, and this is the true benefit of a reset. So now we're printing at 130 pages per minute, at right around a half a penny a page. There is nothing else on the market that will give you the combination of speed, versatility, as well as low cost than the Riso SF5130. So now you can see just that quickly, we have already produced 50 prints. From there, just simply remove your original. You're good to go there, close the lid. Then to get your copies, very simple removal process. The back gate goes down. There's a nice hole for your fingers to go in. You pull your prints out. Always make sure to return that backstop up so the next person doesn't throw paper everywhere. But that's how you do basic operation on a RISO SF5130.